Hello and welcome to Hammerdown Woodworking. My name is Tracy Maxfield and today we're going to build this bed. Let's get started and I'll show you how I've done it. The first thing I do is start cutting down all my material. I started with the legs. These are full before unpressure treated. They're not pressure treated lumber. I needed four, two long ones for the headboard and two short ones for the footboard. I put my dado stack in my table saw and cut a 3 8 inch notch down one side. And I kept raising the blade and cutting over and over until I got it to the depth that I needed. And of course with a table saw blade just rounded at the end and I had to clean that up some. And I put a chamfer at the bottom of the legs. Then I started cutting down my other stock. And I threw together one of my quick and dirty tenon in jig. I've got a video on this if anyone's interested in watching it. And then I cut a dado across both of the, the braces of it until I got it to the depth that I need. And then I marked my pieces with a knife. Then just bring your knife line up even with the left hand side of these two dados and fasten it down and then that way it's a consistent cut all the time. Then I lock the stop down. Then I just take a router with a three quarter inch bit and start going across that notch until I, and each time you pass, you pull the board out just a little bit until you get that tenon cut, and then you flip it over and do the other side. And because of that table saw, the dado stack cutting that off round, I had to trim just a little bit off of the bottom of the tenons for the cross, the bottom cross brace. And that, that allows it to drop down in and cover up that spot. Then over to router table, I basically done the same thing as what the, the, that tenon in jig does, but I've done it on the router table to the slats it's going to go in these and those just fall down in there in place and they are not glued to allow for movement and I allowed about I think it was overall somewhere in the neighborhood of 3 sixteenths of an inch for movement the bottom board is glued and the top board is glued but those in the center are not glued And that's just one continuous mortise, so the boards just slide down in that. And if you hadn't already, we encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, if you like the build we're doing, give us a thumbs up. And this is just a dry fit also. Then I marked uh made a few marks and took a fender washer and drew a design that i wanted on the back these boards that's in this uh footboard and headboard just in case there's any movement forward and backward on them i cut these out to uh, fasten to the back side which on the headboard would be toward the wall and on the footboard would be toward the mattress and this will keep those boards lined up with each other. There's two on each one. I cut the excess off at the bandsaw, staying as close to my line as I could. And then with some double-sided tape and a flush trim bit, I 
duplicated the, the pattern that I had made. Then I pre-drilled and countersink. in order to be able to fasten these to the back of those holes. I also plug, cut plugs and plug those holes and uh, glued and fastened a small strip on each side of the leg to cover up any raw edges that, that were still exposed. And I just flushed that up with a block plane and then sandpaper. And and then there's that piece that goes across the top that has a chamfer all the way around it, and it just uh, glue and pin nailed down. And then on the headboard, the headboard goes together just like the footboard does, except for at the bottom of it, because they are taller and longer, uh, I cut mortises out in the bottom and then added that extra brace across that. Then everything got sanded down. It's time for the headboard to go together and it assembles just like the footboard did with the exception of that one brace across the bottom. Then I mounted the hardware to it. mounted the opposing hardware to the, the rails and I framed the bottom of this with 2x6's because it's a spare bed we didn't put a mattress in it and I framed the bottom of this up with 2x6's and I put cleats at the, across the bottom to hold them up and then another little cleat at the end of each one to keep the 2x6 from ever turning over it and then just made a little socket for it. Now I cut down some half inch uh, plywood and covered that. And then you stain everything to whatever color or paint, however, whatever you want to put. We put a uh, sun bleach stain on this one. And then I sprayed everything with everything. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed that. It turned out fairly well for my first bed. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.